Well, you might agree, it's one of the most glorious spots in Chicago, the Pritzker Pavilion in Millennium Park. From afar, the iconic amphitheater and greenery blend in perfect with the neighboring high rises. But if you start taking a trip up close with the morning insiders, you'll see this beauty is beginning to show its age. Walk around Millennium Park and you'll see lots of this people with cameras. This thing is very, very interesting. It's um, kind of neat. Chicagoans and tourists alike snapping photos. The wide shots, beautiful. But the close ups, not so much. And there are huge pile of rust spots on that. We spotted Mark Carrera taking photos at Millennium Park, wow. something he's doing all across the city. He couldn't help but spot rust and peeling paint everywhere on the trellises that soar above the seats. I just couldn't believe that. Some people call this the focal point of Millennium Park, especially in the summer. All year, there are free concerts just like this right here under the pavilion. And above all those people, far from the gleaming metal we saw when the Pritzker Pavilion debuted some 15 years ago. It's a black eye, I would think, on the city. We asked the Millennium Park Foundation about this rust, and we're told that's a perfectly fair question. And you don't want to have it look ugly. The answer? Natural wear and tear caused by Chicago's weather. From day one, everyone knew this would happen eventually, and eventually, is now. I thought this was supposed to be like stainless and stainless never rusts. Here's the distinction. The steel on the trellis is not stainless. It's structural steel with paint. It needs a new coat every 15 to 20 years, much like your home. That's in contrast to the bean and the sweeping panels that surround the stage. They are stainless steel and never need to be painted. And this is one of the key destinations between the bean over there and this. This is the destination for tourists. So one of the big challenges is when to repaint the pavilion trellises. Winter's out because of the weather, of course. So is summer because of all the events there. So that leaves the fall or spring likely 2020 or 2021. The price tag? About two and a half million dollars. That's the same as an audio system upgrade park visitors are enjoying this season, and it's all paid for with private money, in case you were wondering that. It's crazy because when you do see it from afar, it just is so beautiful. I love going, but you do see that up close. It needs some work. Yeah, but there are so many people, too. I mean, there's so many parks in the city of Chicago yes. that don't get the money or attention that they need, and that's a lot of money. So it's privately funded. I get right. that. Right, so it's a little bit different with yeah. that. Interesting. Good story, Audrina.